Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and show you how to set up for the first time this HP Desk Jet. This is model number 2855E. So here's the two ink cartridges that you get with it. It's the 67, that's the black ink, and this is the 67 tricolor. And then this is the 67 black. So you get two ink cartridges, a cable. Here's the actual printer, copier. It's in plastic, so we gotta cut this plastic off. Let's cut this plastic off, open it all up. Okay, let's take this piece of tape off and get take this down. Okay, this tape goes inside this. So this was up like this. Just grab it like that, pop it down. Tape goes like this. That makes that door come down. Let's take the tape off. Let's see where else the tape goes. There's a piece of cardboard right here. So they wanted you to get this cardboard out. So here's what the piece of cardboard looks like. And now all the tape is out. Okay, so this piece of tape, you got to follow this because they want you to, to get a piece of cardboard in here. So the first thing's going to come down. Is this going to come down? Then this is going to come down. Pull the tape. This door comes down. And then right in here, right there, is this piece of cardboard. The cardboard has to come out. Okay, we're not going to install. This is the ink cartridge door. We're not going to install that yet. We're going to leave this down. Open this up. There is a piece of tape right here. So around back, it says no USB. This is a Wi-Fi printer. I mean, if I take it off, it looks like you could connect the cable, but here's where the plug's gonna go. Here's where you're gonna put the paper. Little tricky, just lift up and kind of out. This comes up like this. We're gonna put our paper in here. We do have to plug it in. The power cord is 56 inches long. It can go either way. Let's plug it in this way or this way. It does not matter. Two prong, plug it in. Okay, when I've got it plugged in, the power light is flashing. These lights kind of flash real quick. Let's set up the paper. Okay, you can tilt this little window up here. We want paper to go in. We need to move that over and paper is gonna sit like this. That's when you want full size sheets of paper in. The, that blue thing was here in the middle, but I had to move it over to get eight and a half by 11 paper in. So. There's how far it should stick down. Don't really push it down too far. It should just kind of sit there. And again, you can pull that out and that should stay up like that. So make sure this tray is open. This is where the paper is going to come out and you can slide this out. This is what's going to catch the paper. All right, let's go up here at the top. Let's turn it on, turn power on. That light is flashing. Let's see. Maybe need to hold it for a little bit. Okay, it took a little bit. I pressed it and then it was kind of like, it sat here like it wasn't turning on. But then after about 20 seconds, something started moving, the screen came alive. My Wi-Fi light is blinking. I don't have the ink installed yet. So let's connect it to the Wi-Fi, then we'll install. Here's, again, here's the ink cartridges. We gotta take that piece of tape off of there in the back and open up the access door. Now, when your Wi-Fi light is flashing, that means you're ready to set up the Wi-Fi. But if it wasn't flashing, you would press the Wi-Fi button and the X button. You would press these two buttons. And then the Wi-Fi light would start flashing again. Okay, the app I'm going to use is the HP Smart app. Click Set Up a New Printer. You've got to choose either a new printer or one that's already connected to the network. I chose new and it should start scanning. Now this iPad Air is on this Wi-Fi network that I want to connect it to. And again, at this point, I'd want to make sure the Wi-Fi blue light is flashing. If it wasn't flashing, I would press and hold the, the Wi-Fi and the X button. And it says, I want you have to use Wi-Fi to connect. You're not supposed to use the cable. All right, I've done all of that. The blue light is flashing. Okay, it showed right up. There it is, the 2800 series. Click on that. Okay, you've got to enter your Wi-Fi password now. If you need to change it, you can hit change network and find your Wi-Fi and then give it your Wi-Fi password. Okay, then we're gonna get, press and release the flashing I button. Okay, now, now this I button is flashing. I gotta press and release it. Okay, looks like that is now starting to get, we want all these check green check marks here. Okay, looks like it's done. 
click continue. It does look like the Wi-Fi light went solid. I, I still have to install ink. I'm going to show you how to install ink. But both Wi-Fi lights are solid now. All right, looks like it's going to walk you through an introduction. I don't want anything extra, so I'm just going to hit continue. I'm sorry. If you don't want anything extra, you got to hit do not activate HP+. Okay, so I do have the printer powered on. This door has to be open, and we're going to open this door. That's going to allow the printer cartridge um, tray to come to the middle. Now it's very, they have a, a diagram right here that's going to show us how to install them. The magenta or this pink, the tricolor goes on the left. We see from that diagram right there. And then the black goes on the right. All right, you're simply, these little contacts and the tape is off. You're just going to take the low one on the left. You're going to just push it and it'll kind of snap up into place. Same with the black, kind of push it snap up into place. When you need to remove it, same thing. Just kind of push down. Just kind of push down a little bit. It doesn't need much. Just down a little bit and it's ready to go. And then you can just take this and put the new one in like that. Okay, now you're going to close this door and you should hear the um, tray kind of move a little bit. Here's what the display looks like. It shows us our link levels already. The Wi-Fi, we've already got it connected to Wi-Fi. We have ink levels, but it's gonna sit there and do, it's gonna do something. All right, now I can hear something going on in there. I've got paper loaded. I've got this door open so that when we print. Okay, it looks like it's gonna, I think it's gonna print an alignment page. So that is circle is going around. Okay, so that took about 20 to 30 seconds for it to, once I installed the printer cartridges, now it's going to print out this page. It does take a little bit for it to print this alignment uh, page. Okay, we're gonna grab the alignment page. Now we've gotta place it on up here. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Here's where the alignment paper goes. Again, you're gonna take it. So we're gonna place, we're gonna take it and place it like this. So that those words and kind of the bottom of the paper is down toward the bottom and make sure that's filling the glass like that, all right? Okay, we're gonna press this copy button right here. That, we had the word A, now it's going in a circle again, and that's, we're gonna check the alignment. The, the printer's gonna check the alignment now. I can hear that scanner going across. And I am following this along in that um, HP app. And when it's all done, I'm gonna press continue here. Okay, so it looks like we have a zero, the blue light is on steady, power button's on steady. I can take this off, hit continue on the app. So I, I took the piece of paper off. Okay, I'm gonna have auto updates and hit save. Okay, it wants to print a test page. It does say it's printing in progress, paper's loaded, it is printing. Okay, let's go over some really quick measurements. So front to back, since that paper sticks out the back and paper is going to, you need about 21 inches, but it only needs about a nine inch uh, platform. Left to right, it's about 17. You do have to lift this lid. The lid doesn't come off, but height wise, you're going to need about 15 and a half inches. Okay, so here's the app after it's all connected. I've got a check mark. Now, when you first power, when you first install the Wi-Fi and I hit auto upgrades, it's going to do an update. And so if I, I tried to connect it to my laptop and I tried to print stuff from it, but the power light was flashing and this thing was circling and just let it sit. Now everything is stabilized. The power light is on. I've got a zero. All the lights are on. The eye was that eye was flashing because it was doing an update. So walk away from it for about 15, 20 minutes. Now come back to it, make sure it's powered on. And I've been printing from it. So now go, so I'm gonna show you, I have an iPad Air, you, and the iPad Air will be like your phone. But here's a MacBook Air. Go under settings, uh, printers and scanners, click add a printer right here. And then there it shows up. Now let's click add. I tried this earlier when it was in the middle of an update and it failed. Okay, there it is. And it's showing HP Deskjet just desk jet 2000 it's it's idle so now i can select it i can my default printer can be uh this one or that one 
I'll put last used. So there we go. Okay, here I have my iPad. So here's a photo. It's like you have to share. So there's no real print button. So hit, hit the share button. And if I scroll up, uh, print right there. And then I can, it hopefully is selected. You may have to select it the first time. Yeah, hit the little arrow. It'll, it should see it if your printer is on the same Wi-Fi network as this one. And then just hit print. And it should print. I printed from the desktop too by selecting something. And let's go over the buttons now real quick too. All right. Again, there's where the paper's loaded. All right, the power button, you're gonna press it to turn it on and off. That is a button. So to turn it on and off, there's the power button. The ink alert, those are your ink levels. Cancel button, I could cancel this print at any time. That's the X. The resume button is there's the resume button. Uh, information button, press to print a summary of the printer state. So if you want to see the printer, what's going on, press the I button. The wireless button, that's a button. I guess you can turn that. Indicates wireless status connected, blinks. So it should be steady when it's connected to the Wi-Fi. The co uh, color copy is there. That button right there with the colors is color copy. Black and white copy is right here. To increase the number of copies, press the desired button multiple times. So you can press, we'll go over that. You may get some note, this, this zero will show, there's your codes. E is unstable cart, unusable cartridge, means you didn't put the HP one in there. Paper size, mismatch, E2 is sensor, paper link, cartridge, stall, paper jam, E5. E5 is scanner failure. E6 is general, in general, general printer error and that, that when the line is going around so when that circle is that zero is going around that means it's busy okay this was a photo and this isn't the best paper but that's that's actually really clear i mean that, that's a very good rendering if i had photo paper that would probably look pretty good okay so say it's sitting here and you want to use it as a copier lift this lid up i like that it stays up here's your mark where your, that's where your top is and this is where the side is so Whatever the top in your left-hand corner would go right there. And then if I want a black and white copy, I would just press that. And again, I could select, but I'm gonna cancel that. Or if I want color copies, every time I press that, it's gonna give me spit out different colors, but I don't want color. So there's how I do the copies. Here's the box that comes in. I will put links to the ink cartridges this unit is super cheap, 50 bucks on Amazon right now. I did buy it with my own money so I could do this set. I, I just needed something quick around the office. So for 50 bucks, but I know that the real cost is gonna be the ink cartridges. It does say it's a scanner. I haven't seen any, I'll have to do another video on how to use it as a scanner. So I just looked, the 67 ink cartridge is $36. Oh, that's, that's for both cartridges. That's for the black and the tricolor is $36. It says you'll get approximately 120 pages of black or 100 pages of tricolor. So $36 for 100 pages. So it was relatively easy to set up. Connect to the Wi-Fi was pretty simple. You do have to download that one app. Once you, you don't have to use that app. Once that app, you know, once this is connected to Wi-Fi, then you're just using your traditional printing from the laptop, printing from the iPad that sort of thing. You don't have to go through the app every time. And I didn't sign, there was a bunch of advertising wanting you to sign up for, subscribe to all of this. You really had to pay attention not to pay extra. I didn't have to give it my email address. I didn't have to log into any HP account, but they were wanting you to sign up all the time. So they can, you can just set this up and it does work with all, all of that. But the, the real expense is going to be with the ink cartridges. They give you a really cheap printer. But, um, yeah, ink cartridges. It just doesn't take very many. But hopefully I don't have a lot of printing to do. So if you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.